And welcome to game three of the ESL's female only cup. I'm going to go ahead and introduce these two players. We have Zena as our red pro dust. Excuse the pronunciation as usual because I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm not going to spend the whole name stuttering over Zena. I know the J is supposed to be probably be pronounced like an I as most uh, countries in Europe pronounce it like that. As anyways, let's go to the other player. Of course, we do have Pikachu as our blue protest and this i'm sure is game three i know that for sure because of something that happens at the end and uh yeah we do have a nine pylon now coming out for both players a little bit different discrepancy in timing but of course that's not too big of a deal let's see if actually uh Zayna goes once again for a gateway in the back of her pylon which is incredibly weird because if you're that close to the expand uh, to the uh, ramp, and even if you put your pile on there, it kind of shows that you're intentionally planning to put you uh, to put buildings right here in the front of the base. But looks like Pikachu gonna get in that base, no problem whatsoever. Gonna scout whatever is going on. Not really anything to scout at this point in time. So maybe a little bit early on the scouting there. So a little bit hit there to Pikachu, and uh, as well to Zena. Is that you know, wait a couple more minutes or uh, at least one minute. Like now, right about now is when, or when this when this gateway pops up, that's when your probe or when your probe needs to be in there, because then you have all that time until the zealot gets out to uh, scout out the base, and you'll probably scout out any sort of tech going on, as well as that's about the right time when, uh, uh damn it, when uh, I'm biting my pen, I can't find cybernetics core. That's what I wanted to say. That's about the time when Cybernetics Core are coming out. As, yes. More uh, probe harass going on for both players. Let's actually look at the players cam. Let's see what ha is happening between these uh, two players. Looks like his pro or her probe did go down. Looking at uh, Pikachu's cam. We do see your most of her attention is drawn to her base at this point in time. Going back to the everyone cam. We can see now both bases. And we can't see what kind of tech is going down. We do see a uh, cyber core coming down here for Pikachu. Nothing quite yet here for uh, uh, Zayna. Let's see if actually that might actually bite her in the behind. Let's actually see if she can pull it off. She might be going for a zealot rush. She has the economy for it. She is waiting for in another gateway. She does have 150 minerals. She is going for another gateway. So we may see a two zealot push here for uh, for Zayna. Uh, if if, uh, if uh, Pikachu had a proper wall off, she would have had a lot easier time dealing with this. But it looks like uh, one Zealot now waiting here for his teammate to come up here and try and uh, help him with taking down that other Zealot at the top of the ramp. Zayna now chrono boosting some more Zealots out here. I really like this from Zayna. Last game, we saw her being very, very aggressive with that four gate push. But I, I actually, no, I, I, I don't like this because... <laughs> I, I think uh, Pikachu already knows that the aggression from Zayna is very probable, but unfortunately Pikachu actually losing both her zealots in a very careless manner because of the fact that she left one alone, but looks like it's going to be one zealot versus one zealot and not going to engage that. Zayna going to back out at the moment, going to wait for her ally and comrade to come in into play as now uh, looks like sentries are now coming to play. Oh my goodness, I thought this was another gateway. Oh my goodness, did I click on that? Oh, shame on me, shame on me. I'm going to not restart this cast because it is too late. As a gateway now coming out here, I really would have liked to see a second gateway here. She had the economy to support it. And now she has another two gateways coming out here. Yeah, I really would have liked to see more dedication to that push. As Pikachu now just getting some stalkers out. I mean, if she had two gateways now, she could have had four zealots right now in the base of Pikachu. And even with the micro of this, these stalkers, those outs could have done a lot of damage to the probe line, especially. But looks like uh, Pikachu Zayna actually going to go in for another push. Ah, uh, this is getting a little bit interesting because Zayna is being very aggressive once again. But this time does not have the army advantage. Two stalkers, one sentry, and one zealot. Very low health, granted. Is still going to beat one stalker, two zealots, and a sentry. No problem there, as well as the fact that three more Zelts have been warped in. Definitely one-sided in terms... Oh, nice force field! Oh, only you can fit a Zelt through. Can't actually fit this soccer through. Oh, man, it's not a good day here for Zayna. Zayna needs to back out right now and try and get all this stuff back together 
formulate some sort of plan to defend against this oncoming army. I'd really like to see a sentry here from Zayna. That sentry could block off that ramp just long enough to get enough units to defend against it. Especially if you block it off low enough, you could make sure that those units do not get sight of the high ground. No, no sentries quite here, quite yet here for Zayna. Zayna in big, big trouble. There are units in her base. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. A little bit of missed micro there for Pikachu, not going for the main army, but of course that micro of Zena is just giving her a little bit of an advantage. There we go. Not losing a single stalker there too. The Zealots, although one did get into very low health, should target fire. There we go. Target fire going down. Looks like Zena just might be able to hold this off. Oh, if she can produce... No, never mind. More reinforcements coming in here for Pikachu. Let's look at Pikachu's base. She does have warp gates. That's the reason why those reinforcements were able to come in there so fast once again no warp gate tech here for Zayna oh my goodness oh this is the second game that Zayna lost due to the fact that she forgot to use that warp gate tech so uh, Zayna saying congratulations and a uh, good game as uh, the uh, I'm not sure if there's any prize money in this tournament but anyways call of Starcraft go visit them this was uploaded to their channel and, uh, yeah. Goodbye!